Hello church, hope you are well. Hey, today we are midway through our 21 days of prayer and fasting. I hope that you are doing well, that you're feeling the momentum, you're seeing answers to prayer already, because that's what we're standing for and believing with you. So, hey, this is what we're going to pray about today. We're going to pray about uh, our cathedral building in Manchester. But before we do that, I just wanted to read a verse to you, which I think is incredibly powerful. This is it. It's from uh, Mark 11, verse 22 to 24, and I'm going to read it from the message translation. And this is Jesus sitting down with his disciples and talking to them. And this is what he says. He says, Jesus was matter of fact. He says, embrace this God life, really embrace it, and nothing will be too much for you. This mountain, for instance, just say go and jump in the lake, no shuffling, no hemming, no hawing, and it's as good as done. That's why I urge you to pray for absolutely everything, ranging from small to large. What a powerful verse. What a powerful concept. What a reminder of how important faith is. But I just want you to remember this. Can you imagine being a disciple at that point in time? Sort of standing there looking at Jesus as he's, he's unpacking this to them. And he points to the mountain behind or beside him. And he says, look, this can be moved into that lake. I can imagine them just looking at each other a little bit going, what? I mean, that's bonkers. For us, maybe today, nowadays, we can look at a mountain, certainly a big hill, and go, we can build a tunnel through it. We can drive, put a road over it. We can chip it to pieces bit by bit. You know, the mountain can be moved. It, it, it can go. But in those days, that was not a thing. I wonder what other mountains they thought about at that time. The Roman Empire, the religious authorities, how could they possibly be moved? But then, I want you to, in the natural, it would have seemed impossible. But I want you to remember what, what they lived through and in as they were his disciples, as they walked the paths, as they met people. These are the disciples who had seen Jesus in a boat, say, Shh, to a storm. These are the disciples who had seen a man's withered hand grow back to life. These are the disciples who'd seen five fishes and some loaves turn into a feast to feed 5,000. These are the same disciples who saw Jairus' daughter raised back from dead. So the natural was things that they'd, they'd seen overcome time and time and time again. They'd seen mountains of nature and lack and illness and death absolutely smashed to become places of peace and prosperity and perfection. They didn't have a thought that this mountain could not be moved. They believed 100% in Jesus. And to us, thinking about our cathedral, it might seem that a developer with deep pockets and influence might seem like a bit of a mountain. It might seem like the finance to build a modern day cathedral seems like a bit of a mountain. It might seem like the planning department that can hold sway over decisions seems like a bit of a mountain. It might even seem that somebody's heart for this project could be seen and will not change could be seen as a bit of a mountain. But Jesus simply says, if you say it, it can be done. And he says, small things, large things. So some of those mountains that we may see regarding the, um, the cathedral project, Jesus can move them. He rule, is the ruler over everything. So I just want you to stand with us today and pray for three simple things. Take hope and faith in the fact that Jesus is over everything. I want you to pray for favour. And that can be in a multitude of areas. Favour for this project. I want you to pray for momentum for the development. That we'll get some real positive unbelievable can't believe we're here momentum and i want you to pray a blessing over the developers who are looking to build in front of us we want them to be so blessed and then know that it's because of our incredible god for his glory we fully believe that this is going to be built it's going to be built for the glory of god and we're going to be sharing some very positive news with you very soon
So stand with us today and for you at home we'll pray exactly the same things. It can be done when we think about the mountains in your life. It can be done. It can be moved. God bless you church. Standing with you.